This episode was shot using the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air. Footage shot with the Air will have an A in the corner. Footage with a P in the corner was shot with the Mavic Pro. Morning. I'm here in the small town of Concrete, Washington. It's a small little town tucked way back in the Cascade foothills of the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. I'm going to do a little bit of filming here around town, but what I'm really interested in lies up in those hills behind me there. Some very cool and forgotten places that I'm hoping to capture today using drones. Welcome to Concrete, Washington. It's a small town of just under 800 people in Skagit County in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. It was founded in 1909 when Washington Portland Cement Company built two concrete factories in the area. It was the first and for many years only concrete plant in Washington State. It provided the massive amounts of concrete needed to build many dams being built in that time. This small Catholic church has stood on this site for nearly a hundred years. The Henry Thompson Bridge was built in 1918 and spans the Baker River. The Lower Baker Dam was built in 1925, just one of many built in the state around that time. Just north of town is Lake Shannon and a secret. To get there, it's about a 15 minute drive on Lake Shannon Road. When driving it, care is needed. It's a one lane primitive road. About halfway up is a small lake called Lake Everett. It was a perfect place for a short range flight with the Mavic Air. Continuing on for another five minutes, you'll arrive at Lake Shannon, a large sprawling lake created by the Lower Baker Dam. For this, I'm going to need the power and range of the Mavic Pro. The forest immediately surrounding the lake is quite young. It was clear cut during the quarrying days. The stark contrast to the rolling hills behind. And this is Devil's Tower. The locals here tell many strange tales of this site. The surrounding hills are dotted with small lakes and ponds. Lake Taiyi, however, has several cabins and even a small resort. And behind that, the vast expanse of the Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. So I'm headed up to this Devil's Tower area and it's an old abandoned lookout and a quarry site. I'm going to try to use my drone as much as possible to explore as much as possible. This is a very good demonstration of what drones are good for. Going back and exploring in places where it is dangerous for people to do it.
Trespassing is strictly prohibited here, but with the power of drones we can explore remotely. Thank you.